Hi guys, here on warm24.com and today we will disassemble the smartphone Xiaomi Poco X5 Pro. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we use a special tool and in our case we additionally use tweezers to remove the tray for two SIM cards. Then we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of about 70 Celsius degree or 158 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat. You can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes we can proceed to detaching the back cover. To detach the back cover we use a thin metal tool first. Because of the fact that the edge of the middle cover slightly protrudes over the back cover, we need to slightly pry the back cover to create a small gap in which we can insert the plastic film and work the plastic film as a tool to detach the back cover. So we find a convenient place for us, pry up the back cover, insert the plastic film and start to run the plastic film along the back cover. In our case, the plastic film is a display protective film. They come in different thicknesses, in our case it is a thicker. And we need to be careful in the area of the side buttons and fingerprint sensor, because in this place are usually located cables. We also have to be careful around the cameras, so we don't damage the lenses. And we can open the back cover and indeed, as we can see on the side of the buttons, the fingerprint sensor cable is located. Only the gasket is presented on the back cover. Then we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or hash 3 o to unscrew the screws. And I talk about this a lot, but this is the first time it is on video. If the screws are different, we should take a picture of them or put them on a special surface in a certain order so that we don't mix them up when reassembling. And we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. Some screws are not magnetic, so to remove them we may additionally need tweezers. We leave one screw in place, it secures the speaker and we detach the bracket of the interboard cable connector. Then we detach the middle cover. We also use plastic film. We slip it into the gap between the middle cover and the display frame and carefully slide it along to detach the clips. We also need to be careful around the side buttons and fingerprint sensor because they are physically located there. And we open the middle cover, open it up and turn it over. Then we disconnect the two battery connectors with a non-metal tool. And we can disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector. We disconnect the connector and remove the middle cover. We have contact pads and transmission lines on the cover. We unscrew one screw, securing the speaker. Then we can try to remove the speaker. But as we can see, we can't do it because the speaker is attached from the inside and we need to remove the subboard first. To do this, we disconnect the connectors of the interboard cable first, then two coaxial cables.
and we release the cables from their fixing attachments on the subboard. Then carefully hook over the edge and pull out the subboard. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone and cards connector on the inside. And in the display frame we still have the vibration mode. And we disconnect the connectors on the motherboard. First the interboard cable, then the display, and we disconnect the two connectors of the two coaxial cables. After that, we can remove the rear cameras. And we detach the front camera. The camera is slightly glued, so we need to slightly raise it up and wave it out. Then we can remove the motherboard. We gently pry it up by the edge and pull it out. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. We need to unwrap the brown tabs with the letters A and B on them. As we can see on the tab with letter A, there is a description and the sequence in which we should proceed. We read what is written on the tab and act according to the what is written. We have to pull the A tab upwards. The one that's white. Gently pull and detach the battery. As we see, the battery from one edge is held on a transparent coating, which protects the cables under the battery. Well, this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until the next video.